So I just got done putting on the carbon fiber rod skin underneath where my real seat's gonna go. And then I put a thin coat of uh, thread finish on top of that. And that's uh, drying on the rod dryer right now. And that's uh, to give my uh, real seat a little bit more thickness so it fits a little bit tighter since I'm not putting an insert underneath and plus since my uh, real seat has a lot of exposed blank to it it's gonna give it a nice look to it and then probably about two three inches or so is gonna be sticking out in front of the real seat Hold it right beside black. Make sure it lies right down in there though. Little tension. As much as you can get away with without pulling the thread out from underneath the black. And then just roll the blank. You make five passes. There's one, so that begins the second band. You see two bands start to form now. Once we get back around to our starting point, Go ahead and put it, wrap it under black thread and lock that down. Give it a couple more wraps to lock it down in place as I push it back over, get my spacing right. idea is just keep trying to pack those threads tightly getting rid of all that space in between there making those bands get tighter and tighter together trying to keep all of my tie offs all along the bottom of the rod GoPro turn off. Oh my GoPro just keeps coming on randomly. Just a little bit more space in there I need to push out. This size A thread it's a little bit tougher because it's very thin thread. So I'm starting with the toughest stuff you can start with for a first rod. Normally people pick a cheap blank, cheap components, and size D thread because it's thicker and easier to work with. But I'm doing basically the opposite of all that. I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it all out. I see the logic of starting cheap and practicing, but 
I'm pretty confident. Ain't gonna be perfect. I'll get better and better. It's kind of working backwards now. Unwrapping a little bit. Just trying to notice a little bit of spacing between the metallic bands. I can see the blank a little bit. It just needs pushed over just a little bit more. Definitely looks a lot better now. It's another reason why I haven't been filming much. I haven't quite figured out a, a good camera setup in here yet. I'm using my phone right now. But hopefully I'll have something figured out before I start on the, the next batch rods. Okay, I'm ready for the next set of metallic silver trim bands. It will be six of them this time. I haven't done six yet. I've only even practiced a couple times at this. So, this might be a challenge here. Alright, so I'm getting ready to mix some epoxy together. This is Threadmaster Light Build Thread Finish. That's some Part A resin right here. Part B hardener. You gotta mix equal parts. You have to mix for five minutes or until the mixture is clear. And then it's best if applied within ten minutes of mixing it. Uh, stuff is the light build, so it usually takes two or three light coats. Alright, now I'm going to mix for five minutes. So I'm wrapping the guides on my uh, X-Ray MB736. It's a titanium Torzai guides. They're very, very small guides. I think size 4.5.
about to put my silver metallic inlay bands in. Let's cut off a piece probably about 10 inches long. Of the guide, so I just want to get one more checked, make sure it's aligned with the other ones. Everything looks pretty good on the alignment. do is I kind of lift it up over the on top of the guide foot a little bit and then wrap around to there's tension down and then I'll go ahead and make about four wraps after that after about four wrappings or so, I'll start to push the, those wrappings down a little bit as I turn it. I don't want to push them all the way down yet because that was just going to slide the guide foot completely out. The skinnier diameter the rod blank gets when you get closer to the tip, the harder this is. So I might actually have to do some guide prepping when I get down towards the tip a little bit more. Okay, here's the first couple guides I just finished wrapping. I'm using a GoPro, so it's kind of hard to get these close up shots with. And here's the one I'm getting ready to start on. Right, so I'm going to put on the first coat on my X-Ray MB736 rod. This is my first custom build ever. This first coat, I'm basically just going to try and saturate the thread. I choose not to use the color preserver thread because has a hard time of uh, the epoxy soaking through this uh, non-color preserver thread it, the epoxy finish soaks through a little bit better to the rod blank you get a little bit better of uh, adhesive bind there 